Hello guys, first of all, thank you very much for watching this video. In this short series, we will talk about how to use a free online app that I've recently found and tested out, which is absolutely great for creating designs in a very professional manner, designs that you can use for your marketing activity, for your business, or even for personal pur purposes, okay? Now the app is called uh, gravit.io, so you will find it at this uh, web address that you can see right now on my screen in my browser address. So this is the address where you have to go, uh, gravit.io, okay? So basically this is an app, it's not a very popular app, it has uh, a paid version and a free version. Basically they also have included a marketplace in this uh, app that they have created. So you can sell your designs after you create it here or you can use it for your own purposes. Uh, whatever you want to do with them, it works just fine for me or for the app itself, okay? Uh, but basically I've tested it uh, out for creating some of my marketing materials, some of my marketing graphics. And uh, basically I've discovered that uh, the app has a very complex editor behind. Uh, you can do some pretty crazy things with it. I mean, it's very, very complex like a lot over other platforms out there uh, which are also cloud-based and for free for creating designs basically it has some features that only photoshop probably has with creating vectors and other things like that i won't go into a lot of designing uh, details okay like how to i don't know how to create a vector or how to use different uh, uh, different complex tools because the whole idea is for you to have access to a to an app which is uh, absolutely very very easy to use so you can create your designs very fast for your marketing activity because probably that is what you are interested in okay so first things first what i want you to do is go to the web address that you will that you see there in my browser uh, gravit.io create an account for free after you will create uh, your account and log in, this is what you will see on the first page, what you are seeing right now on my screen. So basically this is your dashboard. As you can see, you have a menu here in the upper part of your screen. And then you also have a left side menu uh, here where you can see other things like, uh, basically I didn't tell you this, but you can work with the theme on the designs that you create. As you can see, you have an option here shared with me. Uh, if you are working with a theme, uh, it's like a Google Drive for designs, okay? You just access the share with me function, okay? Or folder and uh, right there in that folder, you will find the designs that are shared with you, okay? Then you have another folder, my designs, which you can also see here. Okay, uh, then you can see in recent, if you have any recent designs that you made public, public, so designs that you made public on the market, uh, or in trash, okay, designs that you have, uh, let's say, deleted because you didn't like or something like that. Now, let me go back to the My Designs option here. I will click on it. So what you want to do right now, obviously, the first thing is to create a new design. So you will have this option here. We click on this option, Create Design. So I will click on it. Now we will wait for the editor to load. What you can see uh, faded in the background is the actual editor. And the first thing is to select an option of design that you want to create from this uh, pop-up window that appeared in front of us on the screen right now. Uh, basically here we have also two options. We can create a design, a blank design. So from scratch, we will build it uh, up or we can uh, use the templates that uh, there are already here. Uh, for example, I will uh, filter the templates and show the most liked ones. And bear with me for a couple of seconds because uh, you will wait for a couple of seconds, even up to a minute for all the templates to load. Okay, there are a lot of templates and for different categories and it takes a while for them to load. Now, if you are not patient enough, you can just, I don't know, create a, a template from, from zero, okay, from scratch. So there's no problem in doing that. Now that our templates have been loaded, we can scroll through them and select the one that we like or that we need for our own graphic, okay? And for example, here we have a website template. Here we have a landing page. Here we have a portfolio website. So as you can see, we have pretty complex graphics and designs for some of the templates. 
but then we scroll down and find something which is more simple like a Facebook post okay or something like a Twitter cover or anything like that okay and for example we have here a Mother's Day Facebook post which looks pretty nice but let's see if we can find anything else uh, nature marketing cooking okay Facebook this is like a Facebook cover as you can see this one the same Facebook cover again a different Facebook cover uh, so as you can see we have a lot of types of Facebook covers here okay but I will scroll down because I want to see what other templates we have and choose one that I really like let me see let me see just a second okay here is a mock-up okay moment corporate Black Friday okay let me select uh, this one here I think it looks pretty interesting Okay, we will use this one so you have to press the button use and it will load your cover okay so guys this is how it looks as you can see this is a very interesting Facebook cover okay because it contains multiple elements in it okay and that makes it a pretty pretty interesting Facebook cover and as you can see uh, the editor looks pretty complex here in the left side menu you can see all the elements that you have included in your uh, in your canvas to say so okay here in the upper part you'll see that you have a menu with file okay you can save basically your project ed editing options insert from the insert section you can insert different images into your uh, into your project okay uh, you can upload your own images you can insert photos you will see that you'll also have some stock photos uh, given by them for free icons the same thing you will see that you'll have a set of icons for free that you can use you can insert from market okay you have that market I've told you about where you can find different elements that you can insert uh, or you can insert a new layer okay because it's a it's an editor based on layers okay so you'll, you'll create images that are very complex based on different layers with different elements that's the whole idea okay as I specified to you earlier it's a pretty complex editor now let me go back because I will show you a little bit later how to insert a new element. You have modify, okay, the modify function where you can basically select different elements and you have some uh, some modification commands here which are pretty simple. Though the, the editor it's very very basic, it's like a drag and drop as you can see you, you can play with it very very easily. Uh, now let me show you for example we have selected an element here okay as you can see we have two options here in the upper menu forward or backward basically each of the elements is a layer in this uh, in this canvas and for example we can move this element that we have selected right now we can move it forward to appear in front okay or we can move it backward for example we can move this one backward because this one is probably the first layer as you can see it's selected here so we can move it backward and you can see that its position has been changed or we can move it forward again so this is one way to do it okay to move uh, layers forward or backwards or another way to do it is just click on it in the left side menu okay and reposition them okay as simple as that let me undo this okay so you just have to reposition them which is very simple okay that's how you reposition them you just have to follow what I am doing right now okay but uh, be very careful to follow that red line okay because another option that you can have is overlaying images so basically you put an image in an image and you don't have you don't you won't get the result that you want okay by doing that I will just press the undo button right now so another very cool thing that uh, for most of the free cloud-based online graphic editors uh, don't have so something that the other editors don't have and this one has and works very well it's the undo or redo functions okay which are pretty complex and oftentimes they are available only for paid versions of cloud-based apps or only for softwares that you have downloaded already to your computer and installed there okay so a lot of times you don't have these functions for free uh, for free uh, softwares but for this one you have okay now let me show you uh, other options that you have here okay the view section because we haven't finished with the menu yet okay so you have different uh, options to view okay your your editor 
and the help section where you can find support, tutorials, hotkeys, doc documentation and other stuff like that. Now, let me show you other things. I want to insert a new, a new me media here. And for example, let's say that I want to insert a new icon to this, uh, okay, to this template. I will just go here in the insert section. I will press the icon button. Okay. And here you can see we have a lot of types of icons. Okay. If you scroll down, the list will just, uh, will just continue. Okay. And continue. So we have a lot of a lot of options, right? And I like this one very much. Okay, for me it sends a message something like uh, financial smart. Okay, so this is a this is like a piggy bank, and you have like a light bulb here inserted. Okay, and let's put it here in a side because I just wanted to show you guys how you can insert a new icon. As you can see, you can work with it very easily. Okay, edit it resize it is just simple drag and drop okay very basic now let's say that i will delete this one for now you, I, you just have to press the delete button on your keyboard and it will be deleted let's say that i want to change this one okay this element that i already have inserted here what i can do right now because probably i will want to change let me see here okay we can add effects to this one, which is pretty interesting, right? Let me see, I want to change it, the fill. Oh, let me go back, I've pressed on something. <clears throat> okay, so maybe I want to change something at this element here, okay? For example, maybe I want to change its appearance, okay, to make it more faded. You will see that you will have in the element editor section here, basically here in the right side, you will have a menu where you edit your elements. So you will see that you have different sections here. Okay. Like the way it's positioned. Okay. As you can see, you have different position stages here. We want it in this place. Okay. We can flip it. Okay, flip it horizontally, flip it uh, vertically, it, ju it just depends on us. Then we have the appearance options here. Okay, we can set the transparency from here. Okay, just drag and drop. We can, uh, we can advance, uh, we have different, uh, let's say different uh, filling options. Okay, blending, overlay, for example, soft light normal multiply let's see the multiply which looks pretty interesting okay we have different type of dashes okay arrows so we have a lot of a lot of things here okay which are pretty interesting we have a border we can change the color of the border as you can see we can make it a little bit gradient we don't want that we want it something like this okay so it gives it a nice effect so from here you edit the border you can basically fill it but you don't have how to fill it because it's already it already has an image we can replace it which is pretty interesting maybe try something related let's see city nope uh, let's leave it like this okay you can change the original size we can crop it we can change the colors if we have any colors we don't okay let me go back now original size Nope, we don't want the original size. Let me go back, we can change the color. Let me undo it because we didn't want the original size. Okay, scale corner proportionality. Okay, this is another option. Basically, we can scale it from the corners. Okay, we can make it larger, smaller effects. We don't have any effects for now, but we can add effects if you want to. Okay, like blur, like fast blur. We can have a radius to it. Okay, we can make like an outer glow. Uh, let's see, we can give it some shadow if you want. If you want to, okay, you can see it's like a small shadow that appeared there. Okay. If you have a look, okay, at the shadow, the fast blur, 
okay, we can make it like this. So you have a lot of options when you are editing something, right? So a lot of options when you are editing an element. Now you got the idea how to edit an element. It's pretty, pretty nice. Now, as you can see here in the upper part, okay, just above the, the canvas, you have some other options as well. We went through the undo, redo options, the zooming in and zooming out. It's something very, very uh, easy, fit all, okay, so it will fit uh, your whole screen. Uh, you have the select options here, okay. And you have other options, for example, like uh, to insert shapes. Well, let's say that we want to insert a rectangle here. Okay, we can edit it as well as other elements, exactly in the same style as other elements. I will delete it for now. Okay, so we can insert different things from here, like lines, triangles, stars. Okay, we can, I don't know, just play around, okay, and edit. And as you can see, this is like an editable element, which is very, very simple we can add new text if you want to like hello okay let me show you an example as you can see it has been created a new layer here in the left side menu and from here for the text we go in the in the right side okay where we edit elements and you can see that we have the uh, the classic options for editing text okay for example like choosing the font Let's say that I like this one. Let's change the size, make it 60. Okay, let's change the color. I think white would be a very good color here. Okay, that's nice. Fixed width, okay, we leave it like this. Uh, we can add effects like, I don't know, outer glow. Okay, so we have a pretty interesting text right now, right? Hello. Hello, hello, let's make it more, okay, let's straight, it. let's make it straight, okay, like that, hello, okay, we can add effects, radius, okay, the classic effects, let's put it here, okay, so this is how you add a new element, okay, for example, text, media, I showed you how to add an icon, you can upload your own images, Okay, so basically these are all the options that you have. You can uh, you can create a group of elements that you can edit together. For example, I have selected here all the elements almost. Okay, I can group them all. And as you can see, it has created like a single element, a whole group. So everything that I do right now, for example, if I want to add an effect, I will add it to the whole group. For example, like stroke. Okay. Or uh, blur. Again, we want to add a lens blur, right? As you can see, it has been added to the whole group, right? Why? Because it treats the whole group as a single element, okay? We have a group which has multiple layers. We have to select a single layer in order to edit it, okay? Otherwise, we edit the whole group, okay? Now, let me select it all and press the button split, okay? And again, we have single elements. And you have seen how forward and backward works. So basically, guys, you have seen how this app works, okay? It's pretty interesting, pretty complex for a web-based app, which is for free. And uh, you have some pretty nice templates, uh, but uh, even without the templates, the, the fun part is, for example, if I will press here, new design, bear with me for a couple of seconds. So from the blank version here, we already have all the sizes set up for, most common designs that are out there for social media or marketing. For example, if I want to, to create a Facebook cover, I just select from here the, the size that it's right for me and I can start to design it from scratch, okay? And I have everything that I possibly need to create a stunning design here with this app. Now guys, I hope uh, this was helpful for you, this video. I hope that you'd use uh, this app uh, for your marketing activity, for creating very, very cool designs and high converting designs. And I'm looking forward to see your feedback and comments uh, upon this app. And I really hope uh, you enjoyed this video, this series, and that you found it helpful. Again, thank you very much for your attention. And I hope to see you in my other videos and series as well. And till next time, I wish you all the best and maximum success. Till then, I wish you uh, again, uh, everything that, uh, that it's best for you. And I say to you, bye bye for now, Sorin here.